Well, you know, you sustained a bad injury when you can hear your heartbeat inside your head. So I'm just about ready to head back and I noticed this over here. So let's grab that medicinal herb. Uh, that's kind of what I was sweeping the area looking for with some of those herbs. But uh, yeah, so the first episode, I think I died about four or five times before I actually survived long enough to uh, clear the entire city here. I don't know if we'll be coming back here, and I don't know if maybe clearing them out now will help us. Wait a minute. Well, sounds like I didn't quite clear it out. Well, there's one down here. Oh, shoot. He's a fast one, and I just died. <laughs> oh, man. What was I saying in the last episode? Yeah, don't don't be, uh, don't be uh, trying to load up shots. Because uh, what happened there was I thought he was going to be a slow one, and he wasn't, and now he's behind me because I'm pointing the wrong direction. Wow. I thought I was better at this uh, whole combat thing, but apparently not. So we're going to lose some... Oh, well, there's actually a lot more here. I'm just going to keep doing quick shots, uh, at least with a baseball bat. Seems like it's the way to go. Okay, good, good stuff there. At least my heart beats slower now. I wish that when you're standing here behind an object, it would actually give you a little bit more uh, view. Because uh, it's difficult behind trees and things like that to see how close you are to something. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I really don't like this guy. But I really want this box of nails. Climb up here. I don't know what will happen. Is he going to blow up? Just proximity. Is he like a... Let's see if he's a proximity mine or not. I can't tell. Oh, he's trying to climb up. Oh my god, he is climbing up. Oh my god. Oh my god, he just fell on his face. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was awesome. I love it. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. That was so good, I want to see it again. Come on, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, he fell down again. Oh, oh, so I was able to... Oh, I haven't actually beat... Oh, now he's running after me. That's not good. And he's quick. He's quick for a big guy. He's quick. <laughs> he's quick. Can I climb up in time? Oh! He's not so quick anymore. Neither am I. <laughs> okay, well, combat with them is interesting. I'm thinking maybe my base... It's, it's not a fact... It's not like I'm not going to ever be able to kill these things, but I'm just thinking that maybe with a baseball bat melee weapon, it's probably not the best choice. All right, so let's get out of here. <laughs> Enough messing around here. This is just an enjoyable, fun game, honestly. All right, so I think I've died six or seven times now. Great, you found some, and you're still in one piece. You have me thinking you've already read my survival guide. Anyway, let's fix this damn door now. You can just slide the oil into the air duct there. Thank you. I'll unlock it right away. All right, let's talk to the beginning, I guess. All right, so we've completed those first two missions on the highest difficulty level, and uh, probably earned some pretty good points. Okay, he's just saying the same thing over and over again. Let's head on down here into the bunker, meet Kovac. So choose the destination. Oh, I'm down here. What's what's this? Oh, you can fast. You can fast travel. See what else we can choose. Can we choose anything else? I don't think so yet. I think we have to discover those locations. I'm not sure. All right. I'm not sure what that's all about. Let's turn off that flashlight. What's in here? Private trunk. To recover non-exchangeable special objects that you have destroyed, you can put anything in it as long as it fits inside the trunk. Don't put that junk in my. Don't put that junk in my bunker. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Inside the trunk here. 
need to get level five. So we actually have, these are actually in the bunker, huh? Canvas backpack, baseball bat. That's equipped. Yeah, those are equipped. And these are my, this. so this is my inventory over here, 38 out of 110, uh, whatever the measurement units are using, I wanna say pounds. Probably kilograms would be more realistic, I believe. But, uh, is that, it looked like that was glowing. I guess it's not. Okay, let's check around here, see what else is, what else can we pick up? These look like nails, yes it is. That's a Diablo Fallout feel to it. Kovac! I finally get to see you in the flesh. Welcome to my humble abode, survivor. I like him. Something I would say. Welcome to my humble abode. Mikasa Sukasa. Alright. First improvements. So a new mission, mission, I guess this is. Uh, we're going to need five big pieces of wood, five pieces of cloth, and three braided rope. Okay. I've already told you how dangerous it is if you don't drink or eat when you're in hostile territory. But there's something else that's at least as dangerous. Negative thinking and a lack of prospects. Jeez, is he a motivational speaker? Was he a motivational speaker before he, uh, before this all went down? To guard against that, so you're feeling all right and so you can upgrade your equipment, you need a camp. And every camp worthy of the name has a trunk. Even an ugly one. Without one, you can't store what you find here and there. So, I'll explain how to build your very own trunk. You're going to need wood, rope, and fabric. Wood and fabric you can find pretty much everywhere in the forest. Rope, on the other hand, is kind of hard to come by around here. I suggest you look for some in the swamp. There's always some lying around. Yeah, because every swamp I've ever seen, like, there's just, like, a quarter, a coil of rope it's just sitting up next to that tree or something. Unless that old nutcase got there first and took everything. He goes wandering around the bog sometimes. Then he's not fighting with his brother. But whatever. First, go and find what you need to make your trunk. And when you get back, you can make it and put it somewhere. I mean, outside, on the surface. Not here in my bunker. It would clash with the decor. No offense. Uh, Kovac, why are we needing to build up top? Because I'm just saying, you got like a green screen back here, and uh, it looks like he's pretty well One set up here. One last thing before you go. If you haven't already done so, go take a look at my stock. I don't know how to take that. You'll find what you need to make a few weapons that just might come in handy. Good luck, survivor. You mean like against fat guys that explode? Okay, here we go. So we're going to increase this up because I want the experience points, especially early on. I think it's going to help us out. Um, besides that, I mean, the amount of experience points we get minus, like, we could die, like, like, look, if we take this down here to 2,500, we could basically die, I'm going to say, probably about 8,000 times before we're, you know, coming out in, in the red on that on that deal, so... Ooh, it's all rainy. That's nice. I thought I was supposed to look at his stock to see to make weapons or something. What happened to that idea? Hey, hey you, hey you. Oh, I think I see. I see something going over there. I think it's a piece of wood. Uh oh, should have loaded up. What am I gonna learn? Like teach my. Someone's coming after me. Someone ain't too happy. Let's come up, up here. Yeah. Can I go under? No, I can't. Wow, there's a lot of zombies up here. I'm just swinging like a wild man up here. Need to eat. Okay, I got you. I can't stop and read that, dude. I'm, there's actually zombies coming at me while he's talking to me. Jeez. That was a lot of zombies. Bracelets, of course. What are these? Mushrooms? Okay. 
Can I climb through? Oh, I can climb through. That's kind of cool. Anything in here? Bottle of water. Nice. I need to eat something, he said. There we go. Up to 59. Let's do one more. To 69. Alright. Wait, what about these? Blackberries? Ooh, blackberries are really good. They're like better than the spam or whatever it was that I was eating there. What's this over here? I, I grabbed that wood. Yes, I did. More blackberries. Alright. I wonder if you get any hydration from the blackberries. I still haven't found any rope, have I? No. I kill a deer? How am I going to kill a deer with a baseball bat? Alright. Can't go in the water. Hello, deer. Yeah. To just chase you down. I'm sure if I was Matt Graham, I'd be able to like coax the deer in, befriend it, and then murder it in its sleep while I was uh, using it as a pillow. But that's not. It's not exactly how I think things are gonna work in in this world. Let's put it this way. I think there's only one Matt Graham out there. What's this link in here? Salt Peter. Well, that was interesting. He's trying to dance around me there. Oh my god, sorry, I'm sneezing over here. I'm muting the mic, pausing, sneezing, fighting zombies, sneezing. <laughs> and the problem with me is, I don't just sneeze like once. I sneeze like, oh no, 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 I was not trying to load up there. I was literally just clicking my mouse. That was weird. I got him spaced out pretty good. Oh, I did. Thought I did. Thought I had him spaced out just enough so I could time those shots, but he did. One of them did get a. Oh no! Not you, fat bastard! Get away from me! I have no idea how to how to go about taking him out. I'm thinking. Oh hey, another piece of wood. I see some rope. Okay. Chocolate bar. All right. I hope I can just outrun this guy. Are they falling into water? They are. Okay. Ooh, it looks like you can go in that water. Looks like it's not too shallow. All right. Well, I somehow. Oh shoot! This. Oh man, we're in trouble. Oh my gosh. I just got freaking ravaged. Wow. All right, well, 7,999 deaths to go. Kind of just want to kill the big guy just to uh, clear him off the map. Take my licks. But I guess if I can avoid him, I will. You know? Oh, that might have been the same one. Oh, yeah. These guys are... Jeez. I'm just getting... I'm just getting freaking pounded over here. I'm getting pounded by dudes in the swamp. That just doesn't sound good at all, man. I don't like that. Get away from me. Okay, I need a braided rope. I need... One more piece of wood and then one more rope. And I need my cat to shut up because I'm trying to record. We all got issues, right? Uh oh, no, this is where I got freaking. Oh, and there's a fat guy down there. And there's a. I'm gonna fight this guy in the water here. That was a 
tough way to... Uh-oh, I drew them all. But now, is he going to be fast in the water or is he going to slow down? He's pretty quick. <laughs> he's pretty sp spry for a dead guy. Man, that, he's flanking. These guys are flanking. I'm dead. I think they flank. It seems like it. They're either that or I'm, they're working themselves like I'm, I'm attacking and going past them as I attack. I think maybe that's what's happening. Okay, let's try this one more time. And if this doesn't work, we'll try it one more time. I know I should pick a lower difficulty level, but... Oh, jeez. I've aggroed him. Alright, I'm, I'm down with just loading up on this guy. Oh, missed. He's gonna go fast. Oh, man. Why didn't he take him out? He exploded hard enough to kill me, but not him. Alright. Well, it, it seems like it's totally worth it. I mean, to always go with level 6. Unless you just can't get past the level. But, I can't imagine that, because you get credit for all the kills that you did in the prior life. The only thing you lose is like 10 points at a time, which it really isn't too bad. Come on up here, buddy. Let's go. Are you going to be fast or slow? Slow. Alright, there we go. What do you have? Some cloth? Alright. Any wood or anything over here? No. Someone's running at me. You hear him? He's running. Where's he at? I'm sure I'll find out here shortly. Yeah, I really upset somebody. Oh, whoa. Yeah, you're the guy. He's hanging out here with the... Uh, the gluttonous... Dead guy. All right, so we'll go back up the uh, boardwalk of tears here. Oh, jeez, what is that? That sounds bad. It's a fat guy. Oh gosh, leave me alone, fat guy. All right, I'm gonna try to outrun him. See what happens if I can do that. Wow, there's a lot of them. Oh, and the music's changed. Probably because like once you aggro like 20 of them. Then the music changes. Whoa! Is he catching me? Kind of. Then he takes a swipe and he, swipe and he misses me. Ah! Oh man, that was not good. Alright, so that tactic did not work at all. We will not try that one again. Let's try. Uh, let's try to be sneaky again. A little, little less obvious to the horde of the uh, undead here. How about we turn off that flashlight too? Keep running around with that on. Probably like the worst idea ever. I'm just gonna go this way. I might just go ahead and kill the big guy just to get him out of the way. Yeah, probably, probably will. Is there a small guy with him? It's hard to tell. See, there's not enough. I can't really see far enough into the woods. Yeah, there is. There's another zombie there. I'm going to bring him down, though. Gosh, I hate doing this with the baseball bat. Oh, especially when I miss like that. It's just bad. Bad form. Oh man, I, I just as soon as I hit him, I try to run and I just can't get away. Does he leave anything behind? I'm curious. I don't think I've ever searched one of his bodies. Doesn't look like it. All right, now there is one up here. Where did he go? There he is. Come here. Whoa. All 
All right, what's next? Oh, I see rope up there. I see rope. I think that's all I needed, isn't it? Yeah. There's probably going to be about five of them in that house, though. That's going to be a battle. And uh, I'm only 60% health, so need to be careful. All right. Oh, there's going to be a fat... I think I can hear a fat guy. Oh, man. Oh, there's a... There's... Oh, I'm going to kill you, deer. Ah! Ah! Oh, that was my deer I needed to kill. I had him trapped. Why couldn't you get... Are you guys seriously falling over the rail? That's hilarious. I love that. Okay, line up, guys. Oh, not like that. Don't line up like that. That's not good. Why do I keep going in, be in between the two? Quit making yourself a freaking zombie sandwich. Alright. What in the world is swinging up there? Is it the door? Oh no, it's a big fat guy coming. Piece of, that was a piece of cloth. I don't need that. Oh, here's a rope. There's rope everywhere here. Alright, watch this. Ha ha! Sucker! Is he gonna fall over? That's gonna be great. He's gonna fall over. He's gonna take a dive. He's gonna dive. Come here. Over this way. I just, I have to see it. I have to see it. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Belly smacker. All right, let's get on out of here. Let's get on out of here. Can I just, where's my tilde? Can I just tilde out of here? I think I can. No, I can't. Why can't I? Do I have to, I have to kill another deer? I just want to get out of here. Oh, kill, Ill okay, there we go. I had to run away. Okay, so I had to get far enough away from the enemies. Okay. I got gotcha. you. All right, well, we eventually made it through that one as well. All right, I just, once I can kill those fat guys and I'm not, you know, um, getting myself into too much, I guess the, my, one of my major problems is, uh, oh yeah, I probably do need that. Some of that. I think I want to try to make some, uh, make some bandages or something like that though first. Let's turn that off. I don't need to be running around with a flashlight. Okay, let's talk to Kovac. I think one of my problems is it's just, I get sandwiched in between them, and then I get just attacked from multiple sides, and that's pretty much just as bad as getting into a fight with one of the fat guys. Great. Your wood is a bit rotten, and the rope a bit frayed, but with my help, we should be able to make something out of it anyway. I'll explain everything when you get back to the surface. It shouldn't take too long. Once your trunk is finished, come back and see me. I'll have another mission for you. All right, sounds good. We'll continue when you've put your new trunk down somewhere. If you agree, of course. He's so nice and likable. Stay on the farm. Required building trunk. Okay, so I need to build a trunk first. All right, so let's bring this up. See if I can fast travel my butt on out of here. No, why, why can't I fast travel now? Hmm, okay. Whatever. What's down here? Is there something down here? No, not really. Let's do a quick run around this place. Make sure we're not missing any amazing items. Oh wait, what's this? Yeah, like aluminum cans. Radio room. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Turkey with stuffing. So I need to get to uh, camp level 5 for that one. So you can get a mission from here as well. And then that looks like goes down further into the depths of the bunker. Yeah, we got something here. Oh, I could have grabbed a rope from here. Eight millimeter cartridges. Nice. Talk about obscure uh, around there. Oh, machete! Oh, man. That's like, actually a samurai sword, like a katana would be the uh, melee weapon of choice for me in a uh, one of those situations. Machete would probably be pretty good, though. Machete might be a little more robust. Less likely to break. Doesn't have the, quite the reach, though. 
But then again, it would be better in close quarters. Hey, you should replace this box of nails. Just in time for me to steal them again. So I could just come here for a constant source of nails and springs and cans. Anything in here? I can't get that yet. Can I? Okay. Well, let me take it, will it? Am I stealing? Oh! I am stealing. Alright, let's do it. Nice! Haha! <laughs> we got stuff that doesn't belong to us. Let's leave the bunker. Hey, survivor! You've collected enough resources to construct your first building. Press the camp button to place the available buildings in your camp inventory. Oh, see, I was pressing C before, but apparently it was locked until this moment here. The game wouldn't let me actually do any crafting. Alright, so what do you think? I'm thinking uh, we probably should... Uh, well, heck, we can go grab some items here. We're going to have to fight a couple zombies here and there, but... You know what? Let's let's switch it up here. Let's let's grab a. Oh, you know what? He's a fast one. We need to actually take him out. Oh, I was gonna say let's grab this machete, but apparently I'm already carrying the machete. Nice work there, buddy. Oh, that thing is wicked. Oh, I'm, I'm in love. Now I wonder if I could have uh, dropped that deer if I had the machete. Wow, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, more medicinal herbs. I'll take that. Oh, some train tracks. That's interesting. Hmm. I'm kind of looking for a place that I have, like, natural uh, walls at. I want to get these guys lined up. Like, um, you know, sort of, if I can corner myself into a rock face or something like that. So I only have to build, uh, if I'm building a camp, I want to have, uh, you know, some sort of natural defense already there, you know. No need to build four side, four walls for your camp when you only need to really build two. Or one, even. Depending on where you go. But then again, you kind of get yourself choked in there. A little bit. What is this place? I've never seen this before. Uh-oh. Sounds like we aggroed. Why is my flashlight on? Turn that thing off. I like the fact that I can just kill them as they're can I, can I go? No, here we go. That's nice. This thing just shreds through. I need to, before I pick a lock. Well, how about if I just go through the, like this? The zombie mansion right here. I might just use this as my base of operations. Let's get rid of that. I don't know what, what that was popping up for. Chocolate bar? Oh, he broke through the, he br actually broke through the wall, or through the door. You have to pick the lock on some doors, vehicles, and furniture to open them. This Make sure, sure you have the lock picking school lock -picking skill in the right tool when you're in the door. Canopies, corned beef. So I'm basically just looting right now for survival. Oh, this is a mansion. Check this out. Oh, so I need to lock pick that one, or have him bust through the door for me. I could do that. Wow, that machete is nice. I'm, I'm feeling like really spoiled now. Okay, good. We need to find a place to build this trunk. We got one coming up here. What's with the music? Is that it? There we go. Can I kill this deer? Oh shoot! You're not gonna let me. You're not gonna let me kill you. What's wrong with you, deer? Okay. Good stuff. More medicinal herbs. A couple more, actually. Ooh, this looks like an interesting location, and this looks like it might be access to his bunker, maybe? Let's see. Big hey, piece of wood. Survivor. I see you like picking up everything that's lying around. Uh, did I overload my pack? You can never have enough junk. But mind you don't overload your backpack, or you'll end up losing agility. 
and that's a really bad idea in these parts. So remember to regularly transfer bulky items to your trunk, make space in your backpack, or as a last resort, take a stimulant in case of emergency. Got it. Put stuff in my trunk, make a better, bigger backpack, or use crystal meth. So which one's that? Is that? That's I'm too I'm too heavy. That's that problem. All right, so let's grab one of these, and then we gotta we gotta figure out a place to build. I think I think we'll, we might be able to use this forest, something like this, uh, but that's pretty small. It's pretty close to this hatch, though. Can I get in this hatch here? Enter the bunker. Let's see where this takes us. All right, guys. Well, we're at the 30 minute mark, and uh, I'll go ahead and oh, it's right back where we. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Got a couple. Okay, so we've explored this area of the world. It's actually pretty neat. The way this is all fleshing out is pretty, pretty cool. I'm loving it. So, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Y'all take care.